All right, Sabrina. Um, we're going. I'm gonna run through how to um, do a CD onto your iPod. You're gonna kind of remember this, but from the last time we spoke and talked about it, of course, at at your house on the second floor. Okay, so check this out. Before we do anything, um, you see the you remember the uh, the list on the side of here. I'm gonna point the arrow to it. See library music. Movies, TV shows, podcasts, blah, blah, blah. This is the store. Remember the store? And this is your device. Okay, I clicked on that. Where it says Dolph's iPad. I re I, okay, first of all, I renamed it. It's, yours will be named Administrator 2. Then, of course, you got all the music that's on your iPod because you plugged it in, right? You plug your iPod in so you have... Administrators to iPod, music, movies, TV shows, all of that. Okay. Now, you're going to remember this too. Okay, we're going to take a fresh disc. It also, it should have the names on it. Once we, uh, you know, once we insert it into the disc, the disc drive, right? Mine is down there. Yours is going to be down there too. All right. It's gonna start thinking. You're gonna hear some zzz, 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 zzz. Some, you know, what do you call that? It's thinking about it. And on the bottom, on the bottom of uh, where it says Dolph's music, movies. Okay, you see how it popped up here? Would you like to import this CD, Brown Sugar, into your iTunes library? I'm gonna say no because I don't want the whole thing remember I just want two songs or oh, let's do one song I'm gonna do one song all right I'll say no click no I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick um, number three and uncheck all the rest remember Remember we did that since they already named I uncheck all the rest no I don't want to make that blue but I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna uncheck all the rest Highlight that one. That's the third one because I want that third one. Remember? All right. Second thing we're gonna do. You see where it says library music. You gotta take that blue, the selected song, put it in the library music. I'm gonna double click this so I could go. To, I'm gonna manually do it side by side. Okay, but. Before we do that, I want to check and see if it's still on manually managing the music. See, it's a, it's a little thing that says, I'm going to slide this bar down over here. And I want to read, make sure that's checked. See what it says, manually manage music and videos. Make sure that's checked. By highlight, you, you click that. Scroll down to manually manage and check that and make sure these two are checked. See it? You got the same thing. All right. Back to the CD. You see right down there where it says brown sugar? That's the exact CD that's in there. It's under devices. Brown sugar. I'm going to double click that. Remember we said double click? Open it up in a new window. See how it opens up in a new window? There's two windows now. Now I'm going to slide that one over. I know it's taking a long time. I'm going to slide that one over. And this one over here, This see how it's like both of them? My screen is as big as yours, but okay, I'm going to make this one smaller. I'm going to drag and make it smaller, see? So you can see both of them. they both side by side. Remember that? Yep. That's the disc. That's the disc. And then I'm going to make this one library music because that's where you want to put that one song we selected, remember? Get closer here. Library music. All right. You remember the when I say make it blue, select it, hold the left click down, and you're going to move it. See how I'm moving it over to library music? That song called Bring Your Heart. Get closer. See, I'm holding the clicker, left click. Then I'm going to let it go. And now, 
it's importing. See that little little yellow thing, and when it makes that bling bling sound, that means that number three song is imported into your library. Yeah, this is taking like a couple of seconds, all right? So we got that going to from CD to iTunes library. Double check, see iTunes library music. My library is a little bit bigger than yours. I got like 170 songs, 161. Okay, you heard that bling bling, right? You heard that, right? See the green check? That means that song is in your iTunes library off the CD. All right, I'm moving fast now. I'm gonna move a little faster. Okay, you will close that one. See, I'm gonna get ready to close that one. See my arrow? I'm gonna close the CD window. Leave the iTunes library open. Now I'm gonna find your, let's see, pretend like this is yours. I'm gonna find mine though. My device, which is iPod. It would be administrators to iPod, but mine says Dolphs because I renamed it. Click music, double click music. So now you got iPod window on one side. Let me get back here so you can see both of them. You got iPod window on the left side, which is my iPod or yours. Library on the right side, which is the library that you just put that third song in. So now you got to find that song, which is by Brown Sugar. I just put in, the, you know, in the search bar right there. Remember that? Put in B-R-O-W-N, it should pop up. This is called manually controlling your music. See that song, that's the one I wanted. Remember, Bring Your Heart by Angie Stone. I'm gonna left, left click it while it's blue, hold it, and then drag it to the left side of my iPod, let it go inside there, and you see I says copying, syncing iPod, now it's done. The Apple showing. Now it's done. Now, remember how we edited this song and made it louder. Took away some tracks. Took the year away. So I'm gonna put B R I N. Wait, wait. I N G. I'll find that Angie Stone song. It's on top. You see it right there. Click it blue left click it blue and then right click it and then you're gonna go to get info of course you remember that this window will come up here that little button that says volume adjustment I like to make it a little bit louder of course right remember that I do about two notches equalizer preset I'm gonna do R&B see what it says R&B and I'm gonna go to another tab where it says info and see, I want to. I like to get rid of all of that except the title of the song and the artist. I'm gonna get rid of the album. That's a delete. I'm gonna get rid of that composer. You know, delete. You know, highlight. You know, put the cursor in there. So I put that cursor in there. 2002. Then I backspace that. Track number three. Get rid of that, that backspace, put the cursor in there, get rid of that 15, and so on and so on. I don't have to keep repeating that. So we get rid of all these little these little extra numbers so they won't show up in your iPod as track one. You know what I'm saying? So now I go to video, make sure that whole window is clean. See that? That's your that's the exact song you editing. Sorting, same thing, make sure all of these are clean. We did options already. There's no lyrics and there's no artwork or album cover. So I'm going to go down to OK. We're done with one song from a CD. It should be in your, my iPod or it would be in yours if you was doing it. And then you, I'm going to close the um, this window on the left. I just close it. See the little X up there? Of course, you just close it. But left click, close it, exit, boom. And then I'm gonna just to make sure it works, I'm gonna play it in the, my iPod. So what I just did was went from the library to my iPod music, which this is my iPod, and my iPod has let me drag the window up a little bit. My iPod